most of the functions I think you guys uh, know from just previous knowledge. Um, we know that they support um, the body. They protect vital organs. Um, they allow for movement, which they provide levers for muscles. Muscles are attached to bone um, via tendon. <clears throat> this is one that um, not everybody knows, and that is mineral storage. Basically, we store um, calcium um, and phosphorus. We store other minerals, but um, as especially or mainly calcium and phosphorus. And calcium is used um, in a lot of different chemical reactions. And then blood cell formation, which is called hematopoiesis, occurs in the marrow of bones, specifically red bone marrow in adult uh, humans. <clears throat> now, if you guys can remember from the beginning of the year, gross anatomy means big, uh, things that you can see with the naked eye. And so the gross anatomy of bones, the bone textures, Compact bone um, is, is the bone that you think of that's strong, has all the calcium um, throughout, and is able to support weight and protect. And then we also have spongy bone. And spongy bone um, is basically, if you think of a honeycomb, think of that and think of um, just kind of bony portions called trabecula that is making up the framework um, of the sponge with the holes. This honeycomb, think of an actual sponge and how there's kind of holes in the sponge. Um, that is going to be the whole portion is just space and the trabecula would be the portion that you can see of the actual sponge. And it's going to be filled with red bone marrow, which is going to be where we um, go through hematopoiesis or blood cell formation. Uh, the structure of a long bone. So we talked in the last lecture about the difference between long bones, short bones, etc. And long bones definitely have a different structure um, than some of the other bones. And they consist of something called the diaphysis, which is the shaft or the middle portion of the bone and epiphyses, which are the end of the bones. So the diaphysis um, is the shaft, like I said, and it's composed mostly of compact bone, and it's going to have a hollow center called a medullary cavity. And you're going to have all kinds of things in the medullary cavity. <clears throat> you're going to have yellow bone marrow. You're also going to have some blood vessels and things that are going through it. Um, so there are two different types of bone marrow found in humans. Um, yellow is just basically fat. It's a storage place for fat, and it's contained in that medullary cavity. At the epiphyses um, of a long bone, those are going to be kind of the expanded um, larger portions of the ends. And the exterior of those is going to be um, compact bone, and the interior is going to be that spongy bone that we were talking about earlier that, um, that has that trabecula. And on the joint surface, so on the outside of the epiphyses, there's going to be um, hyaline cartilage, that articular cartilage that's going to allow for a nice smooth surface uh, for a joint. Now, when... <clears throat> When you were growing, you had something called a growth plate. And we're going to talk about the growth of uh, bones as we go through. But when you're an adult and you've stopped growing, it becomes an epiphyseal line. And that's going to separate the area from the diaphysis, or the, it's going to separate the diaphysis from the epiphyses. So at my age, it is a line which is, is ossified. And at your age, you're still growing, so you still have a little bit of cartilage in there that's allowing for growth. So this is what the um, long bone structure looks like. So you've got the spun, you've got um, at the epiphyses, these are the epiphyses right here. Um, and at the bottom, you see another, another uh, epiphysis. And you've got the compact bone on the outside, you've got the spongy bone on the inside, you've got your epiphyseal line, and then this is the diaphysis or shaft, and this is the medullary cavity that's just free. You've got your fat, 
um, this is that uh, red or yellow bone marrow, excuse me. And this is where the compact bone is. And on the very inside, you'll have a little bit of spongy bone. On the outside of the long bone, you also have connective tissue called periosteum. This is just another um, look. You've got, this is the epiphysis of the bone. You've got your articular cartilage on the outside. You've got your compact bone and then your spongy bone on the inside uh, portion of the epiphyses. <clears throat> and then again, just another look um, where you have, this is part of the diaphysis. So you have all of your um, compact bone around. You've got your medullary cavity. You've got your um, uh, yellow bone marrow. And then here is where you're also seeing that periosteum cut away, which is connective tissue um, that basically protects and covers a long bone.